Yo, what is going on guys? Council Gamer here, and yes, I am back. I do strongly apologise for not uploading over the past week. I've been putting in a lot of time into personal things, and I've been thinking about the channel a lot, and what videos to do and stuff. I may go into more depth in a different video to why I haven't uploaded, but for now, I'm just going to be covering everything that got released in patch 227. Let's get it going. This is the life. Just going to spend the rest of my day in the nice dark evening next to this lovely warm fireplace <laughs> what is going on guys i have not been on this game in absolutely ages it feels like forever and they've added in a few new things actually so i'm going to show them off you so first up as you can probably all tell from the little start of the video oh it has a little smoke effect as well oh that's pretty cool <laughs> they've added in this Oh, I can't even fly. They've added in this um, furnace, not furnace, fireplace, that's the one. They've added in this fireplace of a chimney and it's so cool. Look, it even has a smoke effect and everything. So you can have this in your like, little houses now and everything. It's going to be pretty cool. It gives off the same amount of light as a campfire, which isn't too bad, but it's like, you know, it's a cool addition to your house, really. I actually really, really like this. Although, if I was playing on a public server, I'd probably never use these because everyone's base on a public server is just a giant metal box of turrets. <laughs> they never seem to build houses on there because they just get wrecked instantly. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I really do like this. This accepts, I think it accepts all fuel. It must contain a fuel such as wood, thatch, wood or thatch to light the fire. Okay, so I don't think it accepts spark powder, but it says wood or thatch, which is pretty good actually. Considering well, it does make sense. I really do like this, um, the model for it. It's really nice. Could have been cool if I had like a little caged bit in front of it. Might have been a little bit better, but yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. It's a nice addition to the game. Obviously, they're gonna add a lot more furniture into the game. And what the hell? Why is that music playing? What's going on? What is going on? <gasps> My over raptor killed the dealo. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> My uh, dealers, are, dealers are attacking my Obi-Wan there. Also, they've also added in um, this little cage. This thing is cool. There's only wooden ones at the moment. What the hell? Well, that doesn't seem right. That does not make sense at all. I have no idea how the hell that would work in reality. It's just not logical. It's just... That's just dumb as hell. <laughs> so, yeah, you get these little... Oh, these little cages you to imprison people in. That's pretty cool. You know, you can have... Where do I go? Oh yeah, there we go. So you have like, you know, you have a little person cage. So you can imprison people when you capture them. Knock them out with some narcotic arrows. Capture them in here. This is pretty cool. How many doors does it have? I think it only has one. Yeah, it only has one. So you could probably make a dungeon with these. I'm kind of surprised that there's no metal ones really i thought there'd be metal ones a lot larger ones for capturing dinos or just keeping your dinos in rather but you get these makeshift little wooden crates or cages rather which are not too bad they're pretty cool i like them being added into the game it's good to see that the arc devs uh, you know listen to a lot of people's things um suggestions and stuff and adding in all this cool stuff because i've seen a lot of this stuff suggested like a lo long time ago so far away so long away that i can't even remember when it was but yeah these two th new additions to the game are pretty cool they've also um done some bug fixes and not bug fixes some alters to already existing uh, structures and systems so there's the industrial cooker these now accept water pipes as you can see it says water not irrigated also runs off of rainwater so a lot of people did want this in the game when it originally came out it still required water skins and then loads of people had a rage about it saying that they wanted one that could be piped up because filling it with water over and over again was a right pain in the ass. i must agree I must agree with what they were saying because like if you had to make 30 kibble or so you had to run back and forth back and forth filling up water skins over and over and over again and it was so annoying it was just Alright, pain. But now we get to have water in this continuously and have room loaded to my inventory slot. So that's good. I love the new cooking system. 
it really does put a change into the game. And this fireplace, I, can't, I just can't get over how cool it is. It's awesome. I love the chimney part about it as well. I thought it was just going to be... Like when it was said in the patch notes, the fireplace, I thought it was literally just going to be the little box bit here. But this chimney thing here with the smoke coming out the top just makes it so much better. It's so cool. I really, really, really do love it. <laughs> oh, it's great. Um, I'm just going to go over to the furnace. I think I have a furnace up here. I'm not sure. I'm hoping I do. Or don't I? <gasps> No, I don't have one. Oh, well, that's a shame. Well, I'm just going to drop back down here then. I thought I had to finish up there to talk about something else. But I'm just um, show you the prices for these new things. So to create a wooden cage, a portable cage in which to imprison victims. How is this portable, may I ask? You're like, um, pick up wooden cage locked. What, do you pick up the people in the, pick up the people inside of it as well? I have no idea how you're gonna like yeah it's portable cage, but I don't think it's portable once it's placed and put people in it. That would make sense. Can't exactly knock it out of the way or pick it up with a bird, I don't think. But it looks pretty cool, I like the design. And yeah, the prices of it, it's quite cheap actually. Only 110 words, 30 thatch and 25 fibre. So that is really cheap for some cage which probably won't even be used at all because I don't know many people who keep slaves. Normally their slaves end up killing themselves once they're trapped, they just punch themselves to death against the walls. That's what normally ends up happening like every time, 90% of the time they always manage to escape. But yeah that's pretty cheap, that's why I crafted up four of them straight at the start and the fireplace. So 450 stone, which is quite easy to get. That's if you have a Dodia curse with an axe. It's a, uh, it's a little bit of a grind. You know, that's about five minutes of chopping stones. So it's not too bad. 120 wood, 80 thatch, which is easy enough to get. Just cut a couple of trees down and some flint, which is two or one or two rocks would be able to get you about 20 flint if it's the little rocks that is they give the most. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good, man. I really do like this update. And there is another patch coming out, patch 228, which will be coming out near Christmas on the 21st is scheduled for. I will be doing a showcase on that. I can't wait for that one. They're adding in the Ark Winter Wonderland, which I think they are reskinning the whole map to have snow on it, snow and ice everywhere. I think that was teased with the Xbox. The Xbox One um, screenshots and trailers, I think it was a trailer on there, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Also, they have changed a few things. So, the Industrial Forge can now quickly convert wood into charcoal. So, as you know, campfires make charcoal once you burn wood. The Industrial Forge does it a lot quicker, so you have to rely on... Like, normally when I craft loads of gunpowder, I set up about 20 campfires and fill them all with charcoal, put them on overnight, then come back on the next day, and there's charcoal galore everywhere. Hopefully with this new furnace system, which allows you to get loads more charcoal, it would do it a lot quicker, like, I don't know, one per second or something like that. I haven't got any furnace around here to shirk, but for those of you who do have a furnace, I guess you could check it out. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm so glad that they're adding in all these better features to make the game so much better. Make it a lot easier. Because this game, it really is a hardcore type of survival game. Although, it may not seem hardcore, but it like it uses so much of your time. You have to put so much time into this game in order to get anywhere. Especially on um, multiplayer servers. You, they require such a huge amount of time. And then all it takes is 10 minutes for all, uh, for all the hour's effort to be gone. Like, for example, I put in 700 hours into one server once, and I lost it all in about half an hour due to some some guy raiding me and destroying my base, which I've got over it now, but that's mainly the reason why I've quit playing multiplayer altogether. So for those of you who don't know and aren't following my Facebook page, because I do post a lot of my updates and stuff on there, I am actually going to be starting a Fallout 4 series. Hooray! Finally, something else on the channel. Woo. Yeah, so one of the main reasons why um, I'm going to start playing Fallout 4 is because a lot of my friends who actually played in my uh, ARC videos, multiplayer videos I did, where I 
showed off some updates with them and all and stuff. They've actually quit the game temporarily, not permanently, which is good. They're just taking a break because on it's like these these multiplayer servers really do kill your motivation for the game. We've started so many times and just got our base destroyed. We put in so many hours into the game. Like I've almost had a total of 800 hours on Ark altogether. And they just keeps getting destroyed over and over again because of online servers. So I've kind of given up in the online server type thing. I want to create a private server. I do have some plans for the future after Christmas to do with ARC videos and stuff. But for the time being, ARC videos are still just going to be update videos. I may put in one or two other videos. I did have a base tool planned, but, but unfortunately... The person who I was touring the base of is currently being in war. He's like right in war right now. He's lost one of his bases. He had two. It was kind of like split. And I was about to base tour. I was going to do it last week, Thursday. But he was currently in war and he's still in war now. And he's lost a lot of stuff. So I don't really think it's worth it. It depends if he rebuilds or not whether it's worth doing the base tour or not. We'll, um, we'll see about that. But guys... That is pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching. I really don't have much else to talk about. There are a few more bug fixes on the patch notes. Although it will take me a while to read through all of them. And a lot of them are meaningless. A lot of you players out there don't really care about the little tiny tweaks to turrets better targeting. And you know fixing foliage and stuff like that. It's kind of all the boring stuff. So guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and you wish to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe. Guys, if you liked this video and it helped you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. It just keeps me going every time. These likes, they do mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate all the support. So guys, if you could just leave one of those. Guys, I just want to... <laughs> I just want to thank you all yet again for all the likes, comments, shares, everything on all my other videos. I really do appreciate it. Your support is just, it's just phenomenal. I really do enjoy it. It's what keeps me going at YouTube. I do apologize for the lack of uploads over the past week. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video.